This is a Hip Hop Inquirer exclusive. Hi, Gerald. This is Sharika. Can you hear me? <coughs> yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So I did want you to know that I'm recording um, okay. this call for the interview. Um, so let's get started. So um, basically, R. Kelly has released a 19-minute uh, song um, through, uh, posted it on, it's on SoundCloud right now, but he, that's neither here nor there. He's released a 19-minute song where he's addressing, um, you know, the women who have accused him of, you know, what's been called, what's being described as a sex cult. Um, and so um, in, in one of the lyrics, um, during the 19 minute song, he goes on to say that um, the savages, um, I'm sorry if I said their name wrong, um, brought the, 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 the one of the uh, alleged victims to him. And he's basically alleging that she was given to him. Um, is, is, how do you feel um, since you, you know, you're very close, obviously, to this situation and to the, and to the family of the victim? Um, how do you feel about him saying that in a, in a song? Well, I mean, I listened to the 19-minute song, and um, the, the only thing I grasp out of it, it seems as though Mr. Kelly is trying to conflate issues and to shift from the focus that started this whole thing. Um, my clients released a YouTube video that detailed how Mr. Kelly uh, became involved with their daughter. At no point did her father drop her off at any concert or provide her to Mr. Kelly. Um, she, they were contacted by a, um, a handler for Mr. Kelly at their uh, Atlanta boutique who merely wanted to further her career and her sister's career. At which point, that handler provided uh, contact with Mr. Kelly's manager, and it was arrived, it was uh, uh, decided that they would be provided flight to a concert in California, at which point uh, Miss Savage and her mother went to the concert and met Mr. Kelly to discuss business. At no point has her father ever met in person Mr. Kelly, and at no point did he provide his daughter for anything. It was a business arrangement to produce music, and that never happened. Uh, Mr. Kelly then secreted his telephone number to her and began an illicit uh, relationship. Once the parents found out about the relationship, they wanted her to cut off all contact with Mr. Kelly, uh, at which point she cut off all contact and then went to college. She went to college and began contacting Mr. Kelly again behind her parents' back. And then the next thing you know, she was removed and checked out of the college, and they have not seen her for almost two years. Those are the facts. Um, we're not going to get in a back and forth debate with Mr. Kelly via uh, SoundCloud or anything like that. Right. We've always told Mr. Kelly or his agents or his lawyers that we solely want to make contact and see Jocelyn Savage. From the point that they made the YouTube to now, they have neither seen nor spoken directly to Jocelyn Savage. So if Mr. Kelly wants to clear the air, he should do one thing and one thing only. Make Jocelyn Savage available. This is not about um, him. This is about a relationship between a mother and a father and their daughter. That's what Mr. Kelly should focus on and not focus on conflating the issues or trying to distract from what's really happening in this case. Correct. <clears throat> and um, thank you for, for um, clarifying um, all of that. Also, you know, this has to be uh, extremely difficult um, to, you know, be, be standing on the side of, you know, fighting for, uh, you know, against uh, sexual abuse and, you know, with someone who's as well known as R. Kelly, it's got to be really frustrating to, um, you know, get the truth out or get, you know, what you, what you feel and what uh, the family feels they need to hear about um, Jocelyn Savage. Um, can you tell us a little bit about 
what that's been like to go against or, you know, to, 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 um, help expose some of the conduct that's been going on, um, as it pertains to R. Kelly and, and, and the family and, and what you, you kind of dealt with. What is that? What has that been like for you? I mean, it's been difficult. You're dealing with a family. You're dealing with a father, a mother, and two sisters who haven't seen their sister in almost two years. Um, they missed her birthday, which was a couple of days ago. Uh, she missed the the, um, the funeral of her grandfather, uh, and her grandma still misses her. Uh, extremely, uh, it's extreme difficult, extremely difficult situation that we're dealing with right now. And for this to play out on a national, international stage. Again, it's very difficult for a family who solely wants to see their daughter. Uh, we also want to address another issue that Mr. Kelly brought up in his 19-minute diatribe. At no point have my clients asked him for any money. At no point have they asked him for anything other than contact with their daughter. Um, so I'm not sure who Mr. Kelly is referring to when you said they wanted money and it didn't go that way. As you can tell by the record. Um, there has not been a lawsuit filed. There has not been a demand for monetary damages uh, uh, requested or sent. We made contact with his manager. We made contact with his lawyer. And my client has actually talked with Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly on the phone and demanded directly from Mr. Kelly that he provide access to his daughter. So if he's going to make songs, he needs to make the songs factually accurate right. about uh, any interaction that he's had uh, with my clients. And given the fact that R. Kelly did our, admit um, in this 19 minute song that, you know, there was supposed to be um, a business kind of re relationship as far as her career in, 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 in the music industry, that in itself is a monetary gain. So he's the one that, and, you know, it could be said that he presented that by sending the manager to the boutique. You know, it's no it's no secret that R. Kelly has made a lot of money um, being a singer and, and touring. So I, 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 I understand and, and I agree um, that no one would have to ask him for money when he's already offering a deal to their child, which I assume had it been legit, um, would have brought monetary gain. So I, I stand with you on that. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anything else? You know, there's also, you know, he calls himself a broke ASS legend, and he's saying that the only reason he's um, staying on tour is because he has to pay his bill. Do you take any... Um, comfort is the family taking any comfort at all that the media isn't all the way you know patting him on the back and being you know just kind of believing everything he says is there any is there any moments of comfort I mean obviously they're you know they're missing their loved one and that's understandable but have they been able to do they have any hope that this will you know that that it's going to be okay um, eventually and that people are um, standing with, with Jocelyn Savage and, and the yeah. family. I think that, that they are heartened by the support that they receive from the community and that the media has never shifted the narrative from what the truth is. I think this is R. Kelly's attempt to shift the narrative and try to make himself out to be the victim. Mm -hmm. um, and we must remember that it's not just one um, person that are making these allegations. Is multiple women, including his ex-wife, that are making these allegations. Mm -hmm. um, so he's not a victim. If he wants this to end, he needs to make Jocelyn Savage available to her family so that they can meet with her in person and they can gauge her mental and physical and emotional well-being and we can get to the bottom of this. Now, as far as the other accusers, they have counsel. Mr. Kelly has been sued at least twice that I know of, um, so he needs to deal with those situations separate and apart from this one. But what I would advise is that he gets his counsel to make contact with us so we can resolve this and stop making admissions in the form of songs that could be detrimental 
to his position in this case. Right. I'm not so sure that this song, you know, there is there's this other lyric in here where he says, I admit I I'm at rock bottom and this blank has rocked my mind. I'm calling on my hood. Come walk by my side. They don't want me to shine. And, you know, uh, accountability at some point is something a, a, a 50 year old man is going to have to face. And this is his way. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to be biased, you know, but I, I do stand with the family because I do know how manipulative um, predators um, can be. They're very calculated. They will map out a thousand step plan just to acquire a victim. So I do feel in it in itself, you know, when he's, when he's saying things like I'm at rock bottom, it's rocked my mind. It's because that, you know, these type of sociopaths are not ever used to being told to be held accountable. And this is his way of kind of lashing out. And I, I just want to know that he's And what he needs to understand is, you know, you're dealing with real professionals that deal with this situation every single day. Um, no manipulation of the media, no use of any social platforms or any artistry is going to change the truth. We're not going to allow him to conflate the truth. This case started because he separated a family from their daughter. If he wants our particular part of the case to end, reunite the daughter with their family. Stop making music, stop tweeting, stop Instagramming, and provide her, put her on a plane to Atlanta, put her on a plane to Nashville, which is halfway, or make her available in person. It's very simple, like I told his manager. There's, you know, we were told it's a process. There's no process to a father and a mother seeing their child. Right. So if he wants to play this out in the public and in the media, he needs to answer the question why he has not made Jocelyn Savage available. Well, thank you so much.